How to calculate age in Excel? This can sound like a simple question to answer, like a simple task to do, but it's actually not. So here in this video, I'm going to show you how can you do it. So let's say you have here the birth date and you also have the today date. How can you do the difference between these two dates to have, let's say, how many years is in between these two dates? Or how many months? How many, let's say, days, for example? Or to calculate the age, how many, how old are you? How can you calculate it in Excel? So we're going to show you here through three different ways. The first one is the wrong way, where we're going to use a formula that is basically taking, let's say, today minus the birth date and then divided by the quantity of days that we have in one year that is equal to 365, for example. Okay, so let's take a look here in this first formula. Equal sign today minus the birth date. And I'm going to put everything here within parentheses, open and close parentheses, and then slash to divide, slash uh, 365, and then enter. As you guys can see here, I got 100, 100 years as a result. But it's not correct, because if someone just born in August 22nd of 1923, for example, and today, the date I'm, I'm recording this video is August 21st of 2023, the, this person right here and got a hundred years but 99 so it's wrong and it's gonna happen all the time when we, we are using a formula in Excel so the error is here divided by 365 because we have some years that have 366 and so it's not always 365 so this is where we get the error from so let me delete it write it off and then I'm gonna show you how can you do it through the date diff function first and then we can take also the two day function and append use within the date diff function to help us to make this spreadsheet 100% automatic. So whenever you open this spreadsheet, the two days date is going to be always update for you. So let me do it with the date diff equal sign date. Here we have another problem with the date diff function because whenever you type in any function in Excel, as you guys can see here, you have a, a list with all the functions that corresponds that match with the, the thing that we just typed in here in the cell. But as you can see here, the date diff does not exist here in this list. It's basically because the date diff function is a function that is unlisted in Excel, let's say that way. But we can type it in date diff, for example, and then open parentheses. And as you guys can see, it's, about, uh, it's working here. So date diff indeed exists in Excel, but uh, it's unlisted. So the first thing that I'm going to select here is the, the birth date. So we're going to click here in the cell and then comma. Now we're going to select the today date, that is this one right here, and then come again. Now I have three options to input here. I can, uh, let's say I want to know the age, so I'm going to type it in Y, because Y corresponds to years. But if I want to know the days, I can type it in D, and if I want to know the months, I can type it in M. It's pretty much easy. So the first thing that I need to do is open quotations, Y, close quotations, and then close parentheses. Enter. And as you guys can see, now I got here the correct result. So this person right here, this first one, have 99 years. And now it's correct. I can just click here in the down right corner of the cell, click, hold, and drag it out to make sure all the rows contain the same function, and we're done. So here I have all the correct results. Another thing that I can do here in another way, let's say the way, is using the today function because my today date is... August 20, 21st of 2023. But if I open this spreadsheet tomorrow, it's not going to be anymore this date right here. And if I open this spreadsheet next year, my today date is also going to be wrong. So to make it always automatically update for me, I can use here within the cells, instead of just typing manually, I can use equal sign today function and then double click here because the today functions always returns the current date. So let me just click here, one, two. Enter. Okay. Now I got here the today's date and it's always going to be automatically updated for me. Or instead of doing it for all the cells that I, that I have here, all the rows, let's say I don't want to use this column anymore. I don't want to use a, a column just to know what is days is today, let's say that way. So I'm going to input the today function here within the date diff function. So instead of we use this red reference here, this B7 cell, I'm going to read it off it and I'm going to type it in here, today function. I'm going to open and close parentheses and then enter. And as you guys can see, I got here the same, exactly the same result as before. So it's working the same way, but I don't need to use here 
a column just to show me the today's date, for example. So I hope you guys, this video can help you out. Three ways to calculate the age, one wrong way, two correct ways. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, any suggestions to the next video, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow because every day has a new video.